Hello everyone. I am Haima Negi from NIET College, Greater Noida, and today I am here to give you a brief seminar presentation on the topic SOC. Now let's see what is this SOC is. Before heading towards, before heading towards my presentation, I would like to give you a brief overview what all topics we are going to cover. One components of CPU. Two what is SOC. Three architecture of soc 4 processor used in soc 5 multi level core layer out 6 fabrication 7 challenges in fabrication 8 transistor working and murray's law 9 advantages and 10 disadvantages now as all of you can see in this ppt there are few pictures which represent components of a cpu which consist of RAM, cameras, Wi-Fi, battery, and other components. Now, let me tell you what SOC is basically all about. Well, SOC stands for System on a Chip. SOC is the integration of almost all components of a computer into a single integrated circuit. SOC consists of both hardware and software components that control the microprocessor and the peripherals. Let's deep dive into the definition of SOC. To learn and know more about SOC, let's head towards this. A system on a chip is an integrated circuit, also known as chip, that integrates almost all components of a computer or other electronic devices. These components almost always include a central processing unit which we also known as cpu memory input and output ports and secondary storage all on a single substrate on a microchip the size of a coin it must contain digital analog mixed signal and other radio frequency signal processing functions otherwise it will also be considered as an application processor now let's see its architecture. A typical SOC will contain a processor, onward execution memory, which is known as SRM, flash memory, SOC bus for peripheral systems and the interfaces. Now this is the typical structure of a Snapdragon SOC. As you can see in the slide, it consists of keratic CPU, adenoid GPU, hexagonal GSP, connectivity such as 4G, light, Wi-Fi, USB, Bluetooth, and FM, multimedia with support audio, videos, and gestures, camera, display, or LCD, and navigation. Now, difference between SOCs of different manufacturer. Let's see this. Processor used in SOC, very small in size. It is very power efficient. It has high performance per watt ratio, have multi-level core layer out, and is based on simple architecture provided by ARM. Multi-level core layer out. As you can see in this, uh, we have hexagonal 690, Creotic 485, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, location spectro 380 and security kypro 485 is built on arm cortex technology it has 45 performance uplifted and customized design for snapdragon which has large out of order execution window optimized data prefetch for better efficiency now let's understand the concept of fabrication here's a small video for you all
so c chips are typically fabricated used using metal oxide semiconductors mos technology the netlister described above are used on the basis for the physical de design that is placed in root flow to convert the design into a, the design of soc throughout this conver conversion process the design is analyzed with static timing modeling stimulation and other tools to ensure that it meets the specified operational parameters such as frequency power consumption and dissipation functional integration as described in the register transfer level code and the electric integrity now let's discuss what are the challenges in fabrication the maintenance of dust free and efficient fabrication is very difficult to get processor binding is common failure of moore's law theory these were the some challenges in fabrication <laughs> now here is a video which tells about how a transistor works now this is a transistor working on the left side of the visualization you can see a video going on which describes how it works and the right side you will see a picture of it now n you can see um, uh, blue is for n type silicons green represent p type silicons e um, black dots are my electrons dark blue is my source purple is the drain and reddish pink is the gate now let's discuss some of the methodologies used in soc well task scheduling pipelining and probabilistic modeling is uh, are three of the common methodologies used in ta soc well task scheduling is an important activity in any computer system with multiple processes or threads sharing a single processor core it is important to reduce latency and increase throughput for embedded system running on an socs processor core socs offer schedule task according to the network scheduling and randomized scheduling algorithms now see pipelining hardware and software tasks are often pipelined in a processor design pipelining is an important principle for speeding up in a computer architecture there are frequently used in gpus and rispcs processors evolution of the classic risc pipeline but are also applied to application specific tasks such as digital signal processing and multimedia manipulations in the context of system on chip the third is probabilistic modeling system on a chip are often analyzed through probabilistic modeling querying theory querying networks warwork chains for instance little laws allow soc state and noc buffers to be modeled as an arrival processes and analyzed through poisson random variables and poisson processes now here is a slide to describe about moore's law well this slide shows it has been a long long road like in 2005 the size of soc was 90 nanometers in 2006 it was 80 in 2007 we were able to achieve it in a 65 2007 again we reduced it to 55 then in 2009 it went to 40 nanometers 2011 it went 28 nanometers 2016 14 2017 it went 10 and till 2018 it has become to 7 nanometers just see the difference from 90 we are able to get it to 7 now before after understanding any topic it is very important to know its advantages and disadvantages as well i would like to wrap up my seminar with the advantages and its disadvantages of soc now advantages are decreased power consumption increases reliability smaller broad space both space <coughs> greater design security at the hardware and fill level 
Now, some disadvantages are extremely high design cost. Yes, the design cost of SOC is really very high. Component testing is difficult. Prototyping takes long time. Intellectual property, that is IP issues. Now, this was all about my seminar presentation on the topic SOC. Hope you got it. Thank you so much.